Welcome to creativity. Welcome to positivity. Welcome to the past. Welcome to the future. Welcome to the Great Exhibition of the North. Its start rang out with steam locomotive whistles around the city. Crowds building early at the quayside to see the first daytime test of its giant water fountain. And if you think all oh, this looks good during the day, it's even more magical at night. The fountain's remarkable synchronized sister, a drone display, choreographed by computer with stunning twists and turns as high as the Tyne Bridge. The lid lifted too today on this event's other great centerpiece, Stevenson's Rocket, the little locomotive that gave the world the passenger railway home at last in the city where it was built after more than a century away. The first to see it spellbound, including a famous northeast face. I grew up with it, you know, it was always, a, it was on every page of every book that you turned when you were a kid. I think it looks as if it's just been made. I think it's clearly been repainted. It's just fantastic to have something like this in Newcastle for everyone to come and see and really enjoy. And this exhibition isn't just about what the North's done in the past, it's also about what the North is doing right now. Like Hitachi's new high-speed train for Britain being proudly built in County Durham. All part of one of this exhibition's missions to change perceptions about the North. One of the driving forces behind it spelling out to me the exhibition's other huge financial aim. We're looking at reaching an audience of three million and that includes just over a million people coming to visit from outside the region. And on the basis of that, we've estimated that the economic impact for the region over the summer will be in the region of 184 million. It's a bit like a dream come true that today we are here on the first of those 80 days looking forward to a fantastic summer. Culture Secretary Matt Hancock telling me this morning why it's realistic to think this event really can bring in that much money. Newcastle Gateshead is the Rough Guide's number one destination in the world this year because of the Great Exhibition of the North. So it's going to bring tourism uh, as well as that more intangible benefit of asking people around the world to look again at what's going on. The North is proudly puffing its chest out for three months. The time and time is now and everyone's invited.